What's going on guys? It's Ben here and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're off to Villa Park. It's Derby Day. It's the day that we all love to happen until it is the day in which case we are dreading. I'm actually shitting myself about this one. Um, I think I'll take a point today. Um, I think it'll be a really cagey aim. I can't see there being much more than one goal in this one. Um, I'm going to actually go for nil-nil. Um, I just think it's going to be one of them days where it's going to have everything but the ball in the back of the net. Wolves haven't particularly been taking their chances. They, you know, I think last time we played them, they missed a couple of cutbacks and stuff like that that they should have scored. And I just can't see, I don't know, I just think it'll be a cagey one. But yeah, hopefully I'm proved wrong and we absolutely smash them. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight over to Villa Park. <laughs> start to this one to be honest the atmosphere is amazing as you can probably tell with the derby but uh, a couple of niggly fouls early on and um, we actually gave one away across the face it was a combination of Martinez and Conte I think we made a block but really high pace start we're pressing pretty well but we have given one away just playing around from the back of their walls but yeah energetic start uh, I think there might be some goals in this one I didn't initially think so but just it's so fast paced early on yes uh, lucky catch Decent counter that though, very quick counter. Errors at the back are just keeping us on our toes, I think. Um, as he's saying, it's been 22 minutes now and barely anything's happened other than a couple of good chances from that target. But we've had a couple of good chances. McGinn's had an effort. Wendy's just had one that he's, he's put a little bit wide. So if we're going to score, it's going to be us. But it's not really looking like it at the moment. It'll help. It almost be this point to defend me digging up to the way to our earlier days of our doggy lawyers. Can I see shit in this area itself? Can you make a Yes. No! Fuck's sake, Absolutely unreal save from Jose Sar to keep this level. Great ball from Buendia into Ings. One on one, lash it towards the far corner. Brilliant reaction shot from Jose Sar to keep it going. 27 on the block, I'll just stay with you for this corner. Doggy Louise is going to whip one in. We've looked, we've looked lively though. The, the, we had a, a, a spell two or three minutes to just keep winning it back and coming forward. So we're growing into it a little bit more. Louise has given a signal for the corner. On, He's faked it. He's whipped one in and it didn't beat the first man. Lovely. Nil nil. Another overhead kick from you, Ings. Put the towel down, Captain. What for the towel? Again. Oh no! It's okay. It's okay. Switch. 
If they hadn't got a plan. Oh, not to one day in the air, though. Ah! And now it's Martinez's it's turn to make a huge save. Adama's done absolutely nothing all game except for a little run now. Beats up four or five with just pure pace. Gets one on one with Martinez. Martinez saves well with his legs. So, Smith for Wolves, first real opportunity. Any other player one on one, I think they bury it. But Adama Chari notoriously back to finishing and he's shown exactly why there. So, here come Villa again though, Buendia. Ah, no. Poor, poor, poor. Unlucky, still nil-nil, but Wolves have just had a little sniff, but maybe they're coming into the game. Oh, we've, oh, we've done really well there, actually. Today. Anyway, nil-nil. Oh, unlucky. Watch him, he's quick. Oh! Oh, John McGinn. Honestly, John McGinn is... away by Danny Ings. Bowden's picked it back up. Sharp play at the edge by, uh, I think it was Ruben Neves, and then it's rolled across the face by Bowden and turned over by Saeed, so I'm pretty sure. Ten minutes to go and it's 2-1. This will be a very nervy finish. 
they having a look maybe? No? 10 to go and it's getting very squeaky bum, still 2-1. off from another set piece, plain and simple, another set piece, two set pieces, two goals for Wolves, it's really, really good, it's Connor Cody with the ball, they whip the ball in, we clear it initially, they have a header, it hits the bar, bounce on the line, we scuff it away, Adama chips onto the back post, it's pulled back and it's another open goal tapping, two carbon copy goals, two floppy, two floppy set pieces, and we've thrown away a comfortable three points. We've thrown away three points. Thrown away three points. Atrocious. Absolutely terrible. Two apiece. Yes. Yes. Torres tripped himself up and won a free kick dead centre 20 yards out. This will be probably the last kick of the game. There's about 30 seconds to go and they're still setting up. We might lose it in the last minute here. Neves can strike the ball alright. About 25 seconds to go here, I'll stop the free kick. He deserved the rest anyway. to do I'm um, just uh, for whatever reason I'm just not really feeling it today um, could be the fact that we've just lost 3-2 to our closest Premier League rivals uh, it could just be that I'm having a bad day who knows um, but yeah so uh, we started the game pretty well to be honest I, I felt that we, we dictated some of the earlier play I think we, we gave away a sloppy chance to, to I think there's Wong something like that um, a poor pass from Twan Zebi and he went one-on-one -on -one with Mings made a good block and other than that, it was a, a cagey, but I think we edged the first half. Um, if there was going to be a goal, I think it would have gone our way. Uh, obviously, we score early in the second half, a good header from Danny Ings, uh, get, getting a goal for us, uh, as, as we know that he will. Um, and we doubled it through John McGinn, who, you know, he played very, very well today. Uh, the second half, I think it took a bit of a deflection, uh, but he's been threatening it all season, coming onto a, a ball at the edge of the box and striking it cleanly, and obviously... You know, we weren't the only side lucky with a deflection today, were we? Um, and then from there, we imploded. I, you know, I think, I think that we felt the game was won, but that's not how Derby Day works. Um, the game's not won until you look at the Premier League table at the end of the game week and, and you've been given three points. Because um, anything can happen, and, and we know that. We've had some absolutely brilliant Derby games over the last few years. You know, the highest highs of beating Blues, you have the lows of losing to West Brom uh, in the league, but then obviously beat them in the, in the playoffs, uh, in the championship, and obviously topsy-turvy games against West Brom and Wolves in the last season. So, <sighs> unfortunately, we have to just take this one. Fair play to Wolves. I thought their fans were brilliant today, to be honest, which, you know, obviously it's Derby Day. If, you're not, if your fans aren't great, then 
you know, yeah, I think they, they close dude. Um, but as I say, I'm really crestfallen to be honest. I'm really, you know, I just, two two would have been a disappointing result, but three two is just uh, the icing on the cake. And obviously, with the way it goes in, we give away a daft free kick. I haven't actually seen it back. My, initially, I thought that it was a little bit soft, but it's a darn. We had about four men round him. Like, you know, he, he was always going to go down and win the free kick there. And obviously, Neves can strike a ball. He's hit it with purpose and. You know, they always say you create your own luck and um, Wolves didn't give up and in the end they've won the game. So, as I say, fair enough to them. Disappointing for us. I think Cashy went off with an injury. Douglas Louise was tired. I didn't think the Buendia off was the right thing to do, to be honest. Um, I thought that he was probably our best ball carrier. Um, I thought he had a decent game. Um, but I don't think we have anyone to blame other than switching off a little bit. The first two was a very poor to concede as well, too. Sort of naff. You know, ball across the face, turned home. That we just weren't away to. You know, it, it's annoying. It was two corners that both times we won the first header at the front post, and both times we didn't pick up the second ball after that. So, in that aspect, very disappointing. But as I say, gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm absolutely heartbroken. Um, but it's the joy and the heartbreak of Derby Day. So, um, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. Um, all this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. The next game will be uh, West Ham on Halloween. A Halloween game, huzzah! Um, yeah, West Ham uh, on Halloween at Villa Park. Um, that'll be the next game. So we'll have that one. I think we play Arsenal in between that, possibly, which I don't think I'll be able to do anything to. It's like a Friday night kickoff uh, at their place. So I doubt we'll be able to, to do anything specific for that. But maybe if it's an interesting game, we'll make a video. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought of that shit show. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.